Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today is officially the first day that I'm on the job as a full-time content creator and I'm very excited about it. So please subscribe if you want to support me and otherwise just leave a like or a comment, it really helps me. So today we're going to create a beautiful dish that's based on a baked langoustine, a langoustine tartare that's covered in thinly sliced courgette and a quinoa salad. So let's begin. We're going to start with the quinoa. For that, first season some boiling water with salt and cook around 17 grams of white quinoa and 100 grams of black quinoa separately. Once it's cooked, drain it and let it cool down completely. Then transfer the white quinoa on a silicon sheet and do this as well with half the amount of the black quinoa. Now let it dry completely at 80 degrees Celsius. This takes around 5 hours. Meanwhile, transfer the remaining black quinoa in a bowl. Add some lime zest and season it with some olive oil and salt. Then mix it, cover it with plastic foil and keep it in your fridge for later. Once the quinoa has dried out completely, fry it in some oil that's 220 degrees Celsius. After that, transfer it onto a kitchen paper and season it with some salt. Now for the langoustine. First, twist the tail from the head. Keep the head for later. In my next video, I'll show you how to make a beautiful sauce, a reduction and an oil from them. Now take a tail, squeeze it so the shell breaks and peel the beginning of the shell off. Then pull on the langoustine to remove it. If you're lucky, the intestine will also come out. If not, you have to remove it afterwards. Don't forget this, because it gives a really bitter taste. Now trim the ends from a couple of big ones and cut the remaining smaller ones in a fine tatar. Put this in a bowl. Then take one apple and peel it. After that, cut it on the mandoline in thin slices. Cut those slices in julienne and then in small cubes and we call this brunoise. Add two parts of apple to three parts of langoustine. Then also add the zest of half a lime and season it with salt and some olive oil. Now put it in a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Then we're going to make the langoustine rolls. First cut a yellow courgette into the desired shape and then remove the seeds. Do this as well with a green courgette. Now slice both colors of the courgette into thin slices on the mandoline. Then blanch them for around 20 seconds in boiling salted water. After that cool them directly down in some ice water. First blanch the yellow courgette and then the green ones. Now lay a sheet of plastic on your worktop and make sure it's completely flat. Then you can start to lay your courgette slices on the plastic. First start with the green one, then a yellow one and so on. Once that's done, cover it with plastic foil and turn it around so that the nice side is now facing your worktop. Then put a kitchen paper on top to remove any excess liquid. Now take your langoustine tatar and pipe a long line on top of the courgette. Then use the plastic to turn it into a nice and tight roll. After that, transfer it onto a plateau and put it in the freezer for around 30 minutes so it's easier to cut it. Do this very gently and then let it defrost on your plate. Meanwhile, season the bigger langoustines with salt and heat up a baking pan. Now add a splash of oil and bake them for around 40 seconds until they start to color. Then add some butter and let this caramelize. Now take them out of the pan and glaze them with your langoustine reduction. 
Then add a nice layer of the crispy quinoa and some zest of a lime. Now we can start to plate. First put a spoon of the quinoa salad next to the langoustine roll and put your baked langoustine on top. Then add some East Indian cherry leaves and some of their beautiful flowers. And now we finish it off with a langoustine oil and a langoustine sauce. Enjoy! Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. And like I said before, in my next video, I'll just show you how to make the reduction, the oil and the sauce. So please hit that notification and subscribe button and don't miss a single video. And as always, bon appetit.